guys, what's up? Welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about solving for the Euler equation using our Bellman in a dynamic programming framework. Let's go. So this is our problem mathematically. It's just the same sort of problem that we've been using in the previous uh, couple videos uh, where this is just, you know, a planar's problem and we have our law of motion. But for simplicity, we're going to assume that uh, capital depreciation is equal to one. What we want to do is that using this corresponding Bellman for this sequential problem, we want to know what the Euler equation is. So there's four steps for going and doing this. Uh, some people break it down into more steps, but I use four. So step number one is that we're going to set up the Bellman for this uh, sequential problem. Step number two is that we're going to take our first order uh, condition with respect to kt plus one in our Bellman. Step number three, we're going to use this thing called the Benveniste-Scheichmann theorem. And I'm not going to really go much in detail as I'm just going to illustrate it in this example to go and solve for VKT prime. And step number four is that we're going to put everything together and solve for the Euler equation. So step number one, we're going to set up our Bellman equation. And lo and behold, uh, here it is. It's pretty standard. Uh, step number two is that we're going to take our first order condition with respect to KT plus one and that's just going to be negative one all over a k t theta minus k t plus one plus beta times v prime k t plus one so for step number three we need to go and employ benveniste scheichmann theorem to go and solve for this v k t plus one prime so to do this we need to think about what v k t the partial derivative of that with respect to k t meaning the capital stock in this period is so what we go and we get uh here is that this is just uh, 1 all over a k t theta minus k t plus 1 times theta k t uh, theta minus 1. More generally speaking, this is just the marginal utility from consumption in period t times the marginal product of capital uh, in period 1. This is the Benveniste-Scheichmann theorem, this derivative right here. Iterating this over uh, one period, right, we go and get the following result, which is just the same thing that I said before, just changing the time subscript here just to be one period over. So step number four here, our last step, we have to go and solve for our Euler equation. We recall from step number two that our first order condition is the following. If we go and we plug in our results from Benveniste Scheichmann theorem and noting the fact that our marginal utility from consumption in time t is as follows, we go and we get our Euler equation, which is equal to beta theta a k t plus one raised to the power of theta minus one. So um, that's how you solve for the Euler equation uh, using a Bellman equation uh, for a dynamic programming problem. I hope this video helps. Take care.